Today, by request, I'm going to show you how to move your website using the plugin All-in-One WP Migration. Just as a side note, couldn't have made that name just slightly smaller? Should have said WP instead of WordPress, but we know it's WordPress. Is that just me? Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start off on the back end of the website that we want to move. And in this back end, we are going to install the plugin All-in-One WP Migration. So to do that, we head over to Plugins and we're going to say Add New. Here in the Add Plugin screen, we're going to go to the top right where it says Search Plugins. We're going to search for All-in-One WP Migration. So here in the search results, the very first plugin that you see is that All-in-One WP Migration. Now we're going to install it and once it's installed we're going to activate it we are going to stick with the free way of migrating the website it does have other options of installing it via ftp or google drive and a whole bunch of other options to migrate the website but all those options are paid versions of it so we're going to stick to the free method in this video okay so now that the plugin has been installed and activated we are going to head over to all-in-one wp migration and we're going to say export here in this screen what we're going to do is we're going to click on export to and we're going to say file. And again, all the other options that you see here are the paid options that you can choose to use. So the free method is just to click on file. Now the plugin is actually making the archive that we are going to use to install on the new server. Okay, so now that the plugin is finished making the archive, the last step that we have to do on this old website is to download the archive. Once it's downloaded, we're going to move on to the new server and we're going to install WordPress there. Okay, so here we are on the new server. So I'm going to show the easy version of installing WordPress in cPanel. So depending on the hosting from the company that you currently have, this step might be a bit different to you. So I'm going to be going with the most common variant that there is in website hosting. So here in our cPanel of our new server, we're going to go to WP Toolkit. Here in WP Toolkit, we're going to head over to the install button and we're going to click on that. Once we've clicked the install button, this new window will pop up and we're just going to fill out all the details that we need to for the new installation of our WordPress site. Do bear in mind that the plugin theme set, the third option that you see over here, I'm leaving it as none. I'm doing that because when we move our website, we don't have to worry about all the themes and plugins because that's already in the archive that we created before. Once we're happy with all these details, we are just going to click install. Okay, so now that WordPress has been installed on our new server, the installation process is just double checking if we would like to install other plugins. We don't need other plugins because we're going to install it manually ourselves. So all we have to do is say no thanks, and then we're going to log in into our new installation of WordPress. Now in order to do that from here, we're going to say login. Just remember that username and password you created in the setup process and you use that to log into the back end. So here in the back end of our new website, we're going to say plugins and we're going to say add new. So now we're going to install all-in-one WP migration on the new website. So in order to do that, again, we're going to go into the search box and we're going to say all-in-one WP migration. So here again in the search results, we're going to go install now. And once it's installed, we're going to say activate. Okay, so now that all-in-one has been installed and activated, we're going to head over to all-in-one and instead of saying export, we're just going to say import. So here we can just drag and drop the file that we had created on the old website into this new installation. So I'm going to do that here now. Here's the file. I'm going to drag and drop. Let it go. Now, if your file is bigger than 128 megabytes, which I'm sure it will be, then all we have to do is change the max upload file size in cPanel. It might sound complicated, but it really isn't. And in order to do that, we're going to head over to cPanel quickly and we're going to adjust our PHP settings. So here in cPanel, what we are looking for is select PHP version. So if we scroll down to software, you'll see select PHP version. Here in the PHP selector, we are going to go into options at the top here. And in all these options, we're going to scroll down right to the bottom and you can see upload max file size. We're going to change this from 128 and we can change this to whatever we need. I'm just going to set it to 512. Once that's done, I'm going to head over back into the back end of our website and I'm going to re-upload that file that I tried earlier. So I'm going to refresh this page so that it takes the new settings of the PHP max file size and then I'm gonna drop in that new file again. Okay, so now it's reloaded and I'm gonna take the file and I'm gonna drop it in. If for whatever reason you are still struggling to actually upload that, there is a workaround to increase the size if All-in-One WP still refuses to upload the file. Sometimes on some servers, the PHP might still restrict the max size to another variable. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's go back into the cPanel quickly. I'm going to show you how to fix that issue if you're still having one when trying to upload the file. So here in the PHP selector screen, the same one that I showed you earlier, if you scroll down to post max size, that could be the reason why you're still unable to upload your website archive from your old website. So all you have to do is change that to something bigger than the file archive size. So here I'm just going to put 256. I'm going to save that 
and then I'm gonna head over back into my website and then I'll upload the file and everything should be fine from that point on. Now we're gonna wait for the file to be uploaded quickly into our new WordPress website. Okay, so now we've successfully uploaded the website archive into our new WordPress installation. Now the plugin is just double checking to make sure that we are going to proceed with this migration. So now we're gonna click on proceed and now it's gonna install everything for us. Okay, so now our WordPress website has been imported successfully. Now all we have to do is click on finish. So now, if we head over to the front end of our website, we should see our website there. And there you have it, our website has been successfully migrated using all-in-one WP migration. The last steps that you should do over here is to actually just take out the plugin. We don't need it anymore. The website's been moved. Okay, in order to do that, we have to go into plugins and we go into installed plugins. From here, all we have to do is deactivate all-in-one WP migration, and then we can delete it. Double check, say okay. Sometimes on a couple of websites, we do have to resave our permalinks just to make sure that the HD access file stayed intact. So let's just do that quickly. So we go into settings and we go into permalinks and we go right out to the bottom and all we have to do is say save changes. And that's it, the website has been successfully migrated. Okay, I hope you liked that tutorial. There was a couple of extra little steps that I managed to show just in case that you don't struggle. So you should be all good to successfully migrate your website onto a new server. Hope you liked this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave me a comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.